many times I see patients coming with scan reports saying they got the stones in the abdomen and they often get confused between stones in the kidney, the gallbladder and the pancreas. Kidney stones is a very common thing, very very commonly one sees kidney stones, small stones, especially if they are in the kidney parenchyma, namely in the kidney substance itself, most of them don't cause any trouble. Only when the stones fall into the urinary passage that they will require attention. Gallbladder stones definitely will require treatment because they can lead to a whole lot of complications requiring a complicated treatment. Same time, stones can form in the pancreas also. If anybody has stones in the pancreas, they must be suffering from a condition called chronic pancreatitis. What is this chronic pancreatitis? Chronic pancreatitis is a condition where people either due to alcohol or any other predisposing condition have recurrent pancreatitis that is acute pancreatitis again and again and again eventually will damage the pancreatic gland so much that it will become hard. When it becomes hard it can lead to a lot of problems. One of them is severe pain. This pain is due to the nerves getting entrapped in the hard pancreas. These patients with pain often take tablets every day, some of them take injections every day and I have also seen patients who get addicted to injections so much that their limbs become flexed and also they may not be able to carry on with their routine work. Then there are people who develop jaundice because the bile duct will go through the pancreas and the pancreas gets hard, it will block the bile duct and cause jaundice. There are some other patients who have uh, vomiting because the pancreas can block the intestine namely the duodenum and rarely the pancreas in chronic pancreatitis can block the portal vein which is a big blood vessel in the vicinity of the pancreas and it may lead to enlargement of the spleen and vomiting of blood. So all these can happen in a condition called chronic pancreatitis. Now chronic pancreatitis also causes diabetes. And this diabetes in some patients occurs very early in their life and it requiring insulin. There is one condition called tropical pancreatitis which is seen in Kerala. It is called Kerala pancreatitis. The reasons are not known. And uh, patients who suffer, they are less than 20 years old, they develop juvenile diabetes and they develop uh, stones in the pancreas. Now, how to diagnose the stones in the pancreas? Uh, usually these patients uh, the amylase and lipase levels are normal. It, they may be increased only in situations where there is a sudden acute pancreatitis super added to chronic pancreatitis and the sugars as I told you levels will be very high suggesting diabetes. A CT scan or a MRI will show that the pancreas is shrunken and the duct is dilated and the dilated pancreatic tube that is the duct is diagnosed by a test called MRCP. Very occasionally they may require this ERCP also and uh, do they require treatment? Yes, they definitely require treatment for the stones. One is the requirement is alleviation of pain. The pain has to be abolished and for that the pancreatic duct has to be opened for drainage of pancreatic juice and the stones need to be removed. How is it done? This can be done by endoscopic methods where by passing a tube through the stomach into the intestine, into the pancreatic duct, one can break the pancreatic stones, catch them and take them out. Two, in some patients, they may require an operation, a surgical treatment, where as the abdomen has to be opened, the pancreas has to be split open, all the stones are picked up and a bowel is attached to the pancreas, so the pancreatic juice can get into the small intestine. So effectively there may be stones formed in the pancreas also called chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic calculi and most often this condition is due to alcohol abuse and there are a couple of other conditions and the pain has to be relieved because chronic pancreatitis can be a very crippling condition leading on to unbearable pain and then these patients uh, due to diabetes then they will become um, sick very quickly. So chronic pancreatitis has to be diagnosed and uh, treated by specialists in whichever method that needs to be treated and a majority of them with proper treatment will become normal again. Thank you.
For more updates and videos, subscribe our YouTube channel, The Gastro Specialist.